this season about how you felt like you really hadn't done anything yet. Do you feel like this is something now? You're doing something? Uh, yeah. I feel like I'm finally contributing the way I should be. Uh, special teams, I still think I need to pick it up a little bit. Uh, probably push one of those short terms. It's finally coming along the way I want to Did you, were you sure it would? Like, were you pretty yeah. confident it would this year? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I said, uh, I've been through a lot of stuff, man. You know, this past offseason, I worked harder and did a lot of things different than the past. So, yeah, I feel like this year be, uh, What's the challenge in a game like this? We have an hour break. Man. What's up here, buddy? It was crazy, man. Like, we, once we got in the locker room, I mean, we, first of all, we started off, uh, you know, we were getting the most offense. And then once we got in the locker room, uh, they kept delaying the game. Coach, Coach Meek kept coming in saying 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes. And then once we went back out there, we had to get back in the mindset, you know, playing. And, uh, we finished pretty good. How hard is it and how much more mentally tough do you have to be and, and just aware that you're playing in, mm -hmm. with a slippery ball and, and that there's the wind and everything that plays into it? It's, it's nothing. It's nothing. Uh, you can ask any player that goes here. Uh, we can put away play tougher situations than that. So, you know, we, we was prepared for it. I don't think Tulsa was prepared for it. That's why we uh, ended the game we did, the way we did. Coach so talks about how this position with you and Curtis, it's kind of like his baby, he said that he really worked to develop what you guys do. Do you think that there's more to come and that we're, we're only seeing the tip of what you guys can do? Yeah, it's a lot more. It's a long way, it's going to be crazy. I feel like we're going to play a huge part in it. I think we've got a lot more in the how did you kill that 30 minutes after 30 minutes after? Um, basically, just we all sat around, we talked the game, uh, stretched, uh, hydrated, uh, we was eating. Uh, you know, Coach Meeker just keep us, keeping us ready for that. What's in your mind when, when you guys are struggling to put points on the board? Right? The defense keeps putting points on the board like it would have uh, man, that, that just means we're a complete team. Uh, you know, sometimes, sometimes the defense got to pick us up, and you know, sometimes we got to pick up the defense. And, you know, for those guys, my son and uh, Cole Meek to go out there and have those pick six, that, that's really a momentum change for us, and that was, that's what really got the game done. You guys obviously started with a lot of young guys on offense this season after two games. How ready do you guys be able to go and challenge like Oklahoma next week? Uh, man, I, I, I feel like we'll be ready. I feel like we'll be ready. We're going in the game, everybody's going to be Play hard. We're gonna play the way we always play. And, uh, I feel like if we get a if we get a fast start, uh, I feel like we'll finish the right way. And, uh, we'll have a good when Curtis is doing the things he did today and first week, how much better does that make this offense? What more level does that take on? You know, Curtis is a, a crazy talent. I mean, you know, uh, a guy that's trying to get his shot. Uh, you know, to go out there and showcase what he was brought here to do. Uh, great moves, great hands, uh, great blocker, great runner. You know, for him to come out there and, you know, actually showcase what he probably was doing, you know, I, 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 my head goes off to him. So with the, with the way you and Curtis are being moved around the field, in the slot, in the backfield, out wide, how, how should a defense try to cover you guys? What's the right thing to try to do with guys like you and Curtis? Uh, you know, uh, that's, that's why I'm glad I'm on that side of the ball. I'm on the offensive side of the ball. I don't have to face any of your What happens mentally? What, what changes between the first half and the second half? You guys were a little sluggish in that first half, but came out in the second half with a pretty dominant performance. What, what changes mentally or physically that you guys do in the second half? I mean, in the first half, we wasn't playing like a top 10 team or top 5 team. Uh, you know, we, we brought everybody up. Up together, and uh, we, that's what we preached. And we said we need to go out there and play like you know who we really are, and you know go out there and play as hard as we can. And no matter the weather conditions, no matter you know how we start the game, off, we need to go finish it the right way. Dontre, if you start the game next week like you did today, can you beat Oklahoma? I don't know, man. It'll be tough. It'll be tough, but uh, that's the plan to not start out that way. And, uh, I don't. I don't think we'll start out that way. I think we'll start out pretty good. What kind of steps can you guys take to avoid kind of that? Slow start because you guys didn't score an offensive touchdown in the third quarter. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I know we got to establish the running game. Once the once the running game pops, you know, then we can start earning the ball up. How important?